Hi, hope you're having a great day. You're watching JG Entertainment, and for this video, I'm going to go over five first reactions interviews for the new Ahsoka Disney Plus series, kind of giving you an idea what to expect from the show um, according to the critics. Uh, what if you haven't watched Rebels? Well, I'm going to tell you if, it, if it's a viable for you. What if you have watched Rebels? Are you going to be happy with what they give you? Well, I'm going to tell you about that too. And just on, on general, is it good? Is it bad? The positives and the negatives? So yeah, it's going to be worried. And like I said, I have a Five different first reactions. So let's get into it. Now, first of all, the way that this video is going to work or the format is that I'm going to move to the site, as I just did. I'm going to put the first, uh, or the critic, whatever critic it is, the first reaction right here next to me. And you can either pause the video and read it yourself, or I'm going to read it and I'm going to kind of explain what they're trying to say. If, if you can't feel free to skip around and just kind of move on to the first reactions, if that's what you want to do. But yeah, let's get into it. All right, the first reaction comes from Steven Wontrup, who says, First two episodes of Ahsoka are really good. Even if you've never seen Rebels or Clone Wars, it's super easy to follow. Impressed with the action and how it's all story. No side missions or filler. Can't wait to see episode 3. Wish I could watch future episodes on the movie screen. So this is very, very positive talking about how the first two episodes are really good. They said that even if you don't watch Rebels or Clone Wars, the animated series, of course, that you really don't need it to really kind of understand what the story is. I'm sure that if you did watch those uh, animated series, then you probably follow a lot easier. But even without that, it's just that it's super easy to follow. So that's great if you don't want to watch Clone Wars Rebels, which you should. But if you don't want to because of the time consumption, then it's fine. You don't have to watch it. It's perfectly fine for you because it's easy to follow the Ahsoka series. Now, they also mentioned the action. It's great, which is very important for like this Jedi action. So I'm really excited that that's actually good. And the main thing for me that I really like is that they said no filler or no side missions which is great that's the first thing that kind of kind of made me not love the mandalorian the fact that there were so many side missions so the fact that his all story no side missions is really really great so yeah let's move on to the next reaction and that comes from brian david who said i enjoyed the first episodes of ahsoka and the best part about it is that it's focused on telling one grand story i've never watched the animated shows so i don't know the ins and outs of these characters backstories but the dynamics are clear. So once again, this comes from a critic who hasn't seen Rebels. Um, so that's very interesting. Or Clone Wars. They say they haven't seen the animated shows. And they say that they do understand. Even though they don't know the ins and outs of these characters and the stories as much. They say that, they're, that their dynamics are clear with each other. Which is great. Like I said, you don't need to watch the series to fully understand the show. Which is awesome. Now I also say that the first two shows. Um, the first episodes of Ahsoka. That they're really good. And I said that the best part about them. Is that they're focused on telling one grand story. As they said. No fillers, no side missions. But one big story. Which I'm really excited to see. Especially as the villain comes around with being it being thrown as confirmed by the trailer super excited to see that and the next question comes from eric davis who said the first two episodes of ahsoka are a lot of fun especially for fans of rebels and clone wars love ahsoka's fight scenes the most the first episode is written and directed by dave filoni and it's my favorite of the two definitely more serious tone this is some good star wars now he continued by saying, the story works without having to watch Rebels, but it's definitely better if you can't watch it. At least the end of it. Great to see some favorite characters in live action. Also, I yelled out loud at the very opening of the show. It's not just characters we reunite with in Ahsoka. Very exciting to hear, see, hear that. Now Eric Davis also added lastly, I will add that getting to watch Ahsoka in a Dolby theater reminded me of how powerful and important sound is to Star Wars. I miss hearing a lightsaber fight and the gorgeous score on a big screen. Makes me even more excited for the movies to return. Also, this shot rules. So this is very, very exciting. So let's just start with, with the start of what he said. He said the first episodes are very fun and that for fans of Rebels and Clone Wars, that will be very satisfied. So... Keep that in mind, if you did watch Clone Wars and Rebels, then you're going to be very happy, which is super exciting as someone who has watched both of those series. Now, I said that Ahsoka's fight scenes are the best. That's his favorite part of the show, which is amazing. And he does say that he does refer to the first episode over the second episode, and that it was actually written and directed by the creator of the Ahsoka character, Dave Filoni, which is great. They do say that the show does have a more serious tone, which is very interesting. I'm wondering if it's leaning more towards Andor compared to the other Simplast series. Hopefully, because I love Andor. So yeah, that's great. 
Now, they also did mention that the story works without having to watch the animated series, but that does help to watch the animated series, which is great. And I print the opening uh, sequence is very good, or just the opening of the show, so I can't wait to see what they offer with that. And it says that it's not just characters we reunite with. I don't know what exactly that means, but I'm excited to find out, you know what I mean? So I'm excited to see that opening. Hopefully, it's really good. I, I, hopefully, he's not arriving. I'm excited for it. And uh, lastly, he just said that, you know, they did watch this in a in a theater for like the our early premieres, the ones that could watch it early. So they said that they just kind of wish that they could watch more Star Wars movies in theaters and that they're excited for them to return, which I am excited for them to return too. I can't wait to see another big Star Wars movie in theaters. And I really do wish that I could watch a series in theaters. But you know what? I'm excited to just watch a series in general. All right, for my fourth first question review, it's going to come from Eric Goldman, who said, a promising start for Ahsoka with many cool story elements that expand the Star Wars universe and feel different from Mando. Episode 1 has some slow moments involving a McMuffin, but Episode 2 really gets Sabine. Really gets. Sabine is a standout. I think those meeting her for the first time will really dig her. So this is very interesting saying that it's a promise start with Ahsoka. Um, saying that episode 1 for them felt slow with a certain like MacGuffin or like certain item that they kind of used or followed. Um, and saying that episode 2 is the one that they actually really enjoyed. Which is very interesting that the other one said episode 1 was better. This one says episode 2 is better. So just keep in mind that you might like one or the other more. Uh, you, that doesn't mean that one episode is better than the other. It just depends on your personal taste. They also said that Sabine is a standout. Um, um, and for those that don't know Sabine, then it looks like they might really dig her and like might really like her, which is very interesting. And I've recently left Sabine. I'm actually I just rewatched her uh, character arc in Rebels whenever she's like training for the Dark Saber. So it is very exciting to just hear that they actually do her justice in the live action series. Very happy to hear that. And we went to the last retraction in review that I'm gonna show you in this video, and that comes from Brian Davis, who said, "Ahsoka is a straight continuation of Rebels." Feeding the animation of fans looking for more with these characters. Otherwise, it moves slowly but with a great score and occasional action scenes carrying. Optimistic for an exciting series with heavy lifting done in first two episodes. So it's interesting saying that it's just straight up Rebel Season 5, basically. Like that's what it's trying to say, um, which is very exciting for me, but I know for people that haven't watched Rebels, that might not sound the most appealing thing because you know that means you have to watch five seasons of Rebels. Now, it does say that the show, if you're not a Rebels fan, moves kind of slow, but it does have a great score, which is great for the Star Wars shows, and it does, does have fashion scenes, which is great. This show needs fashion scenes to kind of hook you because it is Jedi, hey, and it does have lightsabers, so you have to have the action scenes. Now, it does say that it's an optimistic start for the series and that the first two episodes do very much heavy lifting to kind of get you excited for the future, which is exciting. I'm very excited to hear that. I wonder how people that don't watch the animation is going to take it according to this first reaction, but as a person that does watch animation, I'm super excited to just check out the series. So yeah, tell me in the comments. Do these first reactions and reviews get you more excited? Are you, do you think these are positive? What did it get you the most excited? Are you Rebels fans? How do you watch Rebels? And who's your favorite character in Rebels? Very curious. As well as leave a like if you enjoyed this video. It'll be very helpful. So please, please, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for a lot more content. Especially content when this series comes out. I'm going to for sure make a lot of content on it. So yeah, subscribe. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. And this is Jeremy Tainman. Out.